A girl is on a rotating platform. She starts from rest. So let's see what we can calculate on this. Let's say we do start from rest, so omega 1 is equal to 0 rads per second. And let's say she accelerates an angular acceleration, maybe for 1.5 seconds, and her rate is 1.7 rads per second squared. Let's record that time, typically 1.5 seconds. Now we can solve for quite a few things, but let's find omega 2, and then when we're done, let's figure out the total acceleration occurring for this girl. So we start with our equation, omega 2 equals omega 1 plus alpha t. So we'll be solving for omega 2. So omega 2 equals 0 plus 1.7 times 3.5. And omega 2 is equal to 2.55 rads per second. Now our goal is to find the total acceleration. So what kind of accelerations do we have? Well, we have a tangential or linear acceleration because we do have an angular acceleration. But we also have centripetal acceleration because the girl is traveling in a circle. So we will need to convert the angular velocity into a linear velocity. So I'll use the equation V equals R omega for that. So velocity is equal to her radius is 3.0. And we'll multiply that by 2.55. And the uh, velocity is going to equal 7.65 meters per second. Let's calculate the centripetal acceleration. AC equals V squared divided by R. So AC is equal to 7.65 squared divided by 3. So I'll record that over here. AC for this will be 19.5 meters per second squared. Okay, but there's also a linear acceleration because we do have alpha. Okay, and uh, I'll calculate that over here. A is equal to R times alpha. The radius multiplied by the angular acceleration. So A is going to equal 3.0 multiplied by the 1.75 above. So just 1.7. So I'll write the answer over here. A, and I'll put a sub uh, T for that meaning tangential or the regular linear acceleration is 5.1 meters per second squared. So these are our two acceleration values. So the girl is on the circle. So what I did is I included a circle here for us to envision what's happening here. So we have centripetal acceleration pointing to the center of the circle. This circle represents the top view of this rotating disk here. So that's AC. But we also have a tangential acceleration right here because there is an angular acceleration. So there should be then a resultant acceleration going this way that we can call the total acceleration right there. And uh, our second movie on this will calculate that.